Hi guys, Fagun Shah from Integration Lab, Lab here. So today we are going to see something called uh, CRUD, which is basically create, read, update and delete. So in last few days, I have seen many questions in the Public Connect forum and Public Connect official Facebook group that uh, some people were struggling re related to first searching some records and then updating them or deleting them or just searching them so they don't create duplicate entries right whenever we like keep any kind of database or anything in google sheet or airtable we may want to make sure that we don't have duplicate entries right so in that case whenever we receive some data from any trigger application we first need to search it and if re required we need to update it or ignore it or maybe delete it as well okay uh, in whatever is your use case but in this uh, tutorial we are going to see all of those okay and yeah we are going to see why it is important so basically uh, you can avoid the duplicate entries you can keep updating the single entry with a different values as time goes on right for example you are updating a status then you don't want to create the new row with the same uh, order id right in case in that case you just want to update the order status and order uh, status update date and time right so that is why this crude type of workflows are very important and they are also very useful in applications like uh, flulu or anything where create or update is not available as a action in public connect uh, let me show you what exactly i mean by that so for example in here if we search active campaign Here you can see the create or update contact action is available right so you do not need to first search it and then update the contact or create the contact right but this type of things are not possible with all the apis some apis do not have those functionalities so in that case we should only create the records uh, if they do not exist right or for example like me i only want to submit uh, get the student's mark only one time uh, from my form okay so let's get started and let's see how we are we can implement crude type of workflows in public connect right and yeah if you haven't subscribed to channel make sure you do that i will keep posting this kind of free videos for all of you okay thanks okay so i have already created a workflow and i have selected webhook as a trigger you can select uh, i am using the elementor form as a trigger uh, app but you can choose whatever you want like you choose elementor or maybe you can choose direct webhook as well because it is ultimately a webhook based integration okay so it doesn't matter uh, we will go to elementor i have already se selected the webhook i will paste the webhook update and we are capturing data from element of from into google sheet okay so i am just going to submit a dummy data this is not my re uh, real email address so do not contact me on this one at least this is the dummy email address and uh, yeah if we go here you can see that we have captured those detail in here right now the most easiest easy and straightforward way is to just add a google sheet uh, as a action app and use the add new row action right that is the most straightforward action but the issue in that case is that there is a chances that student will submit that detail twice then we will have duplicate records and we don't want to do that right now in order to stop uh, that duplicate entries we need to first use a action called lookup spreadsheet rows so we are going to use that one i have already connected the google sheet so yeah and here i am going to use crude workflow so crude workflow is selected lookup column so currently i do not have any entries so uh, it won't give me any results okay I am creating this workflow live with you because I want to take you through the whole process like what exactly you will face in the 
setting up these things okay so let's suppose uh, b is our column with the email address so let's confirm that yeah b is the column with the email address right and lookup value will be the email address we are getting from the elementor form and let's click on save and send this request it is saying data not found right now here is the chance that we set up two different thing that if data is found just update it if data is not found then create it okay so there are two different kind of conditions and we never know which kind of condition will be true at a particular time right so it is basically if else kind of case so here we can use router instead of filter okay filter is only if the condition is true router we can set any number of conditions so first we are going to set up for data not found okay and in here i am going to select result equal to data not found okay and in here if data is not found obviously we are going to use add new action add new row action and save it so again we are going to select the crude and here goes the first name here goes the email address and here are the marks let's do a save and send this request and the data should be submitted to google sheet right so we now have the data now we can just clone this router and let me first delete the second one and let me just clone this okay now this router will be for data farm okay now let's first see what happens if the data actually exists now we have already pushed it let's see what happens to this thing response result okay okay so now we can see that response result is totally gone there is no uh, response result available but instead of that it is showing response result zero uh, row value so basically it is showing that yeah data is found right so that's why what we need to do is that we need to go to our first filter as well and change the filter condition to row index is exist okay sorry it will be does not exist okay don't worry about this error it will show the error in the setting up uh, side of the workflow but in the real time execution it will work flawlessly okay now let's move to the second one and if we go here we go here and row index if the row index exist it means the data is found in that case we just want to update the record okay so update row right so they want to know which row we want to update so here is the row index which we got from the lookup right and again we can map the name we can ignore the email address actually but yeah let's map it and let's map the marks again let's do the save and send this request and close right so yeah basically the filter of router are dependent on the row index okay the row index exist or does not exist that is how you do the crude operation this was create and update only but instead of update you can using uh, use the delete as well okay that if it is a someone is submitting the data second time delete a row right you can use that one as well okay let's test it out uh, right now so we will again uh, use himeshoni android 1 and let's enter the mark as a 25 let's hit send you can see the data is here now 
we are going to submit the same thing with Himeshuni one and max will be 30 this time and you can see it I just updated the mark instead of creating a whole new row right so yeah this is how the crude operations work with the google sheet uh, in the public connect now you can use the same concept with other application as well for example i got many inquiries related to flowloo as well right that how can we first in flowloo first search it and then update the update or create a new crm account right so in that case also you first need to uh, set up the lookup you need to check for the crm account using the email address and if it returns any results okay if the result is more than zero then you need to uh, set up a router based on those conditions right so the main thing is the routers condition okay routers filters condition this one okay and these conditions are totally dependent on the results you get from here the thing you need to keep in mind is that always always set up workflow where you are actually finding a result okay that's why i first found uh, zero results and set up this router and then came back and then uh, search again and showed you that what issue can uh, what issue can be happening for you as well right so yeah just make sure that you do this carefully with the actual data which can be found uh, should be available inside your application okay the action application right so yeah i hope this video helps you and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will keep posting free tutorials like this and in case you want to hire me to set up your automations using public connect or zapier uh, feel free to message me on facebook or on email i will uh, leave this uh, details in uh, description of this video thank you see you in the next video bye